it's, it's been hard to find a lot of trends uh, in these finals so far because qu- other than the third quarter, right? Because so many teams or so many of these games have been just these roller coasters, especially uh, in the second half. I've got two that I'm going with here. Uh, the first one is actually, if you can still find it specifically, uh, the one trend that we've been able to count on is the Golden State Warriors winning the third quarter and winning it handily. I got them at even money. Uh, if you can still find that, I'm just taking straight money line across the board for that. Just winning that third quarter, the spread, a lot of places is like half a point, but you're going to get more value with that even money on the money line with them. So I'm taking the Warriors to win the third quarter. And an interesting one, and this isn't always something we throw in here, but I'm going to go with a live bet. You have to wait and see how this is going to play out. The team to win the second quarter in both NBA Finals games has then won that game. So whoever wins the second quarter ends up winning the game. So watch that trend and see what happens in the second quarter. And then consider possibly betting on whoever it is that wins that quarter to win the game in a live bet. So that those are the two directions that I'm going to go. I'll throw out one more for you, though. Uh, Steph Curry over five and a half assists. He's only had nine total in the first two games, but... Boston is going to do their best, especially at home, to zero in and, and, and make Steph Curry's life as miserable as possible. And there's opportunities here for them to get Klay Thompson more involved. We had Ryan McDonough on earlier who said take his under 18 and a half for points, which I'm, I'm totally fine with. But he has been better after the first two games of every series. If you look at points per game, it goes from 15 for the first two games in the playoffs in every series to about 22. So there's an opportunity there for Steph to get somebody like Klay Thompson possibly more uh, involved in this. And at plus 118, over five and a half assists, that's more than reasonable to think of Steph Curry, who averaged seven and a half assists last series, to maybe be able to do that in game three as well. So the big thing here, though, for me, Warriors third quarter money line, uh, wait and live bet on whoever wins the second quarter to then win the game, because that's been the trend so far. And then Steph Curry.